The following lecture series will focus on designing a corridor using Select Series 3 Open Roads Technology by Bentley Systems. Some key things in starting out. Number one, Bentley Systems Open Roads Technology incorporates corridor and nonlinear design all in the same focus or package. It's very important to consider that every corridor design is actually a site design as well. In fact, while the corridor may, may take precedence within the design, but there is no doubt that the project is truly a site design. Open Roads tools blend this unique capability within the tool sets, and we'll see this moving forward. To start our project, we'll be setting up a seed file. The seed file will contain necessary information for creating our various corridors and design elements within the project. This will enable us to work more efficiently with redundant information. So we'll start by setting a coordinate system in our file. We'll be using South Carolina North American Datum 1983 state plan in international feet. Once set, we'll begin by attaching the necessary geometry and also terrain to begin our project. The geometry was previously creating using various methods shown in other videos on this site. Within our geometry, we'll grab our geometry DGN default, use coincident world, and we'll attach. Using a fit view, we'll see the site geometry. Next, we'll use our terrain, existing terrain, and again, we'll grab the default. Again, we'll attach coincident world. In this case, the terrain model's not using the appropriate coordinate system. We'll OK it, and we'll move forward. We'll set the terrain as active. Throughout our project, we'll be modifying and manipulating the various geometric components to get our design accomplished in the manner we require. So with this, we'll look at our setup once more. We have our terrain and our geometric elements. We're now ready to begin creating corridors. Some other information that will be valuable to us would be the existing survey or right-of-way lines and so forth. We'll also attach these at this time. We'll go in and we'll grab our existing conditions. Again, attaching coincident world. We now see our pavement design that we'll have to work up against. The beginning portion of our design will require an overlay process. So we'll have to make modifications to the survey elements to use them within our corridor design. 